Welcome back to Movies That Made Me Want a Sewer Slide. Today we're going to be talking about Tar 2022. Now, this is the first time I've ever done one of these long-form sewer slide episodes, so you may be asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, if you say sewer slide fast, it sounds like a different word. And this series is about all the movies that make me want to commit that word. Now, Tar seems to be liked a lot by a bunch of people for some fucking reason. So let me say also, I am a big fan of like everything everywhere all at once and Banshees of Inisherin. I am not opposed to prestige cinema or movies that aren't meant to be big budget blockbusters. So that's not the issue here for me. And also before I finally get into the real review again, at the bottom of the screen on the timeline or in the description below, there will be chapters. So basically you can skip to uh, the, the spoiler free review and then the spoiler filled review as uh, partway through I will be giving spoilers uh, of the film so I can review it okay so let's start with the no spoiler review of this okay this film feels like it is attempting to be condescending towards every single person that is watching it every scene at least at the beginning feels like it goes on forever like each scene is an individual M. Night Shyamalan film there is nothing but dense exposition leading up to a boatload of fucking nothingness. The film goes from this terrible drama into this semi-interesting psychological thriller back to this terribly boring drama again. None of the acting has any personality in here and the shots are very cold and gray. And don't get me wrong, things can be cold and gray, like Eraserhead, for example. It's black and white as a film. However, you can tell that this, if it were in color, would be this more dull, grayed out industrial landscape. But for this movie, I don't get why everything needs to be so drab, other than to represent that this main character is depressed, but she doesn't even seem that depressed, let alone uh, bothered by what she does, other than a little fucking, like, hint hint of guilt every now and again okay now let me go ahead i'm gonna give you guys the warning now i'm gonna get into spoiler filled review section so if you don't want to hear spoilers of this movie then you can click off now although i do not recommend watching this movie so you know what i mean i just keep watching okay so the film starts with like this little intro and then a six minute black background white text credit role and i don't mind having your credits at the beginning i'm not opposed to that whatsoever but usually it's about two to three minutes of the main credits and usually they try to make it visually stimulating or interesting so that way you don't just turn your audience away right away and then we go into this like self dick sucking interview with the tar lady and basically lydia tar is a fake composer who is going to be doing one of the biggest recordings of her life however throughout the film it is revealed that she is somewhat abusive emotionally and sexually to those around them especially the people that play in her orchestra this has a really interesting tinge of, of idea and story to it. To show that anybody, regardless of gender or whatever, can be sexually abusive to those around them and abuse that power is both true and interesting. However, at the start, it's not even made that clear that Lydia is the villain. She just seems like she has some strained relationships. And once we finally get into the interesting psychological thriller part, we're already like an hour and a half deep. You get little hints that there's something wrong with Lydia and that she's been doing something to women because like you have her walking through the park and this woman screams and shit like that and she's sexually abusive, blah, blah, blah. However, again, you have to really buckle in for the first hour to hour and a half just to get to anywhere interesting. And at that point, all I have to ask is, why did we need this exposition? I don't care that this woman has all these fucking awards and all this other shit. What I care about is the terrible deeds that she's doing and how that is psychologically terrorizing her. This is why I say this film feels so pretentious and like it's giving the middle finger to its audience. At every turn, it takes the most boring route possible while also giving you the least interesting bit of information. I don't know how you have the delivery and the story fucked up so bad with these tinges of decent ideas in there. 
And then also the ending, her brother comes in and says, like, you lost your roots. And then all she does is she continues composing, but for, like, a video game. What kind of weird shit is that? Why do I, I don't want to see? She caused a, a, a woman to commit suicide earlier in the film because she fucking blackballed them from the industry and shit because she stopped fucking her. And it's like, I don't care about this woman going to a low tier fucking video game thing. I want to see her in prison. And if that's kind of what the message is, is like, oh, these people don't get brought to, to justice, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, but you could have at least shown how like it further just destroyed her, not how it just kind of makes her in a slightly worse off place than she was at the beginning. At the end of the day, she still does everything she loves. And I, I don't think they say what happens exactly in the court case that that's going on about the woman who killed herself but god damn this film fucking sucks i hate it so much i have never ever felt so condescended towards okay well that's gonna be it for this episode of movies that made me want to sewer slide uh if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and a comment below if you hated it and you think I'm stupid. Let me know in the comments below as well. I don't really care about your opinion if you like this film. Uh, but uh, yeah, I fucking hate this. I hope it doesn't win any awards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here in the Smoking Session. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and pop, that'll pop during the outro. Uh, and you can follow us on any of our other socials down in the description below. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. They sound of my head to the depths of the universe. It's a spell or a chance just to open up a new world.